What point did you find out Jim Carrey was attached? Like fairly late in the day, actually. Oh shit. <laughs> um, yeah, it was like I didn't know he was even in the running. I mean, I had like suggested like maybe, maybe we should try and get Jim Carrey to be the voice of Sonic. Uh, uh-huh. I mean, at points we talked about everyone in the world to be the voice of Sonic. My my one thing was like let's make it someone let's make it someone who's really funny and not just someone who's very famous, but where we have to generate all the comedy ourselves. Like cause right. having done Dole and the Insatiable, I know I knew. You know, we, I did a lot of directing the voice actors on that and just like having someone who's really funny in the booth and can help goose things as you go along is oh, so course. valuable and so important. Yeah, Ben is so funny too, man. He's just, he can't not be funny. Ben's a genius. You know what I mean? Ben. Yeah. Like he's the nicest guy and he's such a good improviser. Yeah, like, I've never just, met him, but I'm a fan of everything he's done. Yeah. I mean, he's he's a terrific guy. But yeah, when we heard Jim was going to do it, we were very excited. Oh. There have been points, too, where it's just like, yeah, we'd gotten notes from, I mean, they were getting notes from all directions from the studio, but so, some of them were just like, I feel like Robotnik shouldn't be so funny. He should just be scary. And we just wanted to be like, we can make him scary, but like, it's not a good idea to make him not funny. Like, his name is Dr. Robotnik. He's always going to be kind of funny. Yeah. And then once they were like, ah, oh, Jim Carrey's going to do it. We got to make him funnier. And we were like, oh, thank God. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> Jim getting cast helped it go back to what I, I knew in my heart Robotnik should be. Like, some sort of deadly serious Robotnik would not have worked. It would have been a huge mistake, you know? Uh, did you get to meet him? Yeah, I've met Jim a few times. Yeah. Um, he's crazy funny. I mean, when we met with him <laughs> after Sonic uh, came out, uh, we had some meetings with him to just talk about Sonic 2 and sort of bounce ideas off of each other, which was an incredible experience. Yeah. Just like hanging out at his penthouse, pitching Jim ideas, and then he would like do act outs like right there oh my God. You know, on the couch across from me. Like giving a full on performance, and I was like, "This is incredible! This is a Jim Carrey movie that's that's just for us. No one else can see this but us." What what an experience! You know, that's Amazing. a long way from the day in detention, dude. Jim <laughs> Carrey's penthouse. That is just—I love those stories, man.